within the Peruvian rainforest on the western edge of the Amazon basin is one of the most impressive nature reservations in the world, the Manu Biosphere Reservation. Its landscape is one of the least explored in the Amazon. The aircraft flies just above the treetops and lands in the middle of the jungle. The Manu National Park covers an area of more than 18,000 square kilometers and is one of the largest untouched rainforests in South America. Very few settlers live in the almost inaccessible tropical rainforests in the southeast of Peru. Apart from the natural rainfall, the park's most important supply of water comes from the Rio Manu, its source being 4,000 meters up in the Paucatambu Mountains, a section of the Andes. The river is an extremely important habitat for several rare water birds, fish and various endangered wildlife species. For several centuries, the forests surrounding the Rio Manu were inhabited by four Indian tribes. Thus, the forests remain natural and unspoilt to the present day. However, this river paradise can be a treacherous place. Invisible dangers lurk in the surroundings such as the powerful Jaguar. While traveling on this region's rivers, it pays to be alert. Driftwood and crocodiles are almost identical. Caution is also required when going ashore. These large caiman could pounce at any time. The rich Manu rainforest is full of life. Its plants show off their breathtaking variety of both form and color. Since the beginning of the 1970s, this unique world has been studied by scientists who have documented its immense variety of plant life. The river gradually reveals its secrets, plus a host of natural wonders. This region is free from pollution and the glory of nature is supreme. The Rio Manu is one of the final refuges and breeding areas for the threatened river turtle. Along the river's tributaries that resemble small lakes, there is another rare and threatened species, the Cabibaris, the world's largest rodent. Fortunately, few people come here and when they spot an intruder, the Cabibaris seems to freeze in its tracks. Ever since research into the Peruvian rainforests began, each year reports are published that include details of newly discovered plants and animals.
But the discovery of precious mineral resources, such as the large quantity of mineral oil and natural gas along the borders of the Amazon basin, has not been without its consequences. Luckily, the region's mineral oil industry has not yet managed to pollute the Manu National Park. These creatures continue to inhabit the jungle lakes. Up to 1.80 meters long and weighing around 30 kilograms, these animals were once hunted for their fur and are particularly common in the Cocha Salvador. The park has a large indigenous population of birds. More than 850 species have been recorded in the park's rainforests. The region's insect species and invertebrates have been estimated to number around half a million. Each creature makes its own special contribution to this natural ecological system. The geometric precision of the spider's web is truly impressive, but the creator of this masterpiece is lurking somewhere close by, ready to pounce on its unsuspecting prey. Due to the infinite number of insects here, the spider's appetite is constantly satisfied. Even the beautiful butterfly falls victim to its ingenious web. Magnificent and colourful combinations of numerous varieties of butterfly fill the humid air of the dense rainforests. The survival of this unique biosphere is extremely important. For this reason, only a relatively small area of the park is open to the public. The mysterious and unfathomable interior of the jungle, the most vital area of the park, is still the exclusive domain of the region's indigenous animals and plants. Because of its amazing variety of animal and plant life and its function as the final refuge for several endangered species, the Manu jungle is a kind of living Noah's Ark. As the day draws to a close in the glowing light of the setting sun, one realises that to experience this fascinating natural world is a very special privilege and one that will remain in the memory for a very long time.